Look at it! Look how bruised it is! The bruising goes all the way around! I'm Houston Jones, the world's strongest bodybuilder, and my life goal is to prove I'm the toughest man alive. In today's episode, I'm testing out the Stinger Tactical Whip against my iron body. This idea has been so highly suggested that Stinger themselves decided to sponsor this video to find out if their whip can survive contact with me, Houston Jones. For those of you that don't know, the Stinger Tactical Whip is an easy to use emergency tool that is relatively non-lethal. While the whip can provide a great deterrence, it's also a lot of fun to just smash stuff with it on Saturday with your boys. It's without a doubt the coolest tactical whip on the market, and if you don't own one, you are missing out. So stop missing out and click the link in the description to get 10% off when you buy yourself a Stinger Tactical Whip. Every whip you buy directly helps support the channel, so, you know, buy a million of them. Please. Now today's experiment will be broken up into two stages. Stage one will involve testing the whip on random objects, which will show the power of the whip against things that represent your average mortal man. Stage two will involve testing the whip against my rock hard body, and if any damage occurs, it'll be inspected immediately after, and then once again, two days later. So to start the non-human trials, we gotta smash some stuff that aren't me, because I can't be smashed. So I wanna show you guys all what happens when the Stinger Whip is hitting something that isn't the world's strongest thing in the world. First melon is the pineapple. It's a juicy one, so let's see what happens. Try it again. Oh, another one. Oh. Okay, stop. Jeez. On human trial two, cantaloupe, aka the musk melon. Let's see what happens. No. Oh. You, of course you miss it. Why are you miss it? It's a stationary object. No, it hurts. You scalp. What? What hurts? It comes back and hits me. Oh, I'm sorry. It hurts you. We're on to the watermelon, the juiciest of melons. I would say this is the most like the average human, watery and weak. Oh. <laughs> Put your back into it, Weston. Okay, it's enough putting your back into it. This is what the average human would look like. Not good, right? So here's the last of the soil-based grown objects. We got an old squash right here. And this is, this puppy's hard as stone. Not as hard as Houston Jones, but hard as a stone. So probably one of the closest things you would get to me. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. The squash hitting me in the face, you know, it didn't, it felt fine, but the average person would have said that kind of stung. The Egyptians used to say squash is as hard as diamond, and look what happened. Okay. Do they really say that? Yeah. I mean, don't, don't look into it, but they definitely, they definitely said it. We're hitting cans! Why cans? Who cares? They're cans! <sighs> you missed one, Wes. You missed again! No, what? Hit it! Hit it like you mean- oh, Wait, you're not gonna drink that? You're just gonna waste it like that? Thank you. Now, I'm not sure what's about to happen, but there's one thing I know for sure, and it's that I won't react in pain when the whip hits my calf here. And when I don't react in pain, you all have to like the video. That's a deal. Okay. You better do it. Whoa, hold your horses there, partner. Hi, it's me, Houston. You probably recognize me from the video that you're watching. Anyways, it's very important that I remind you all to not try what you're about to see in this video at home or literally anywhere because we are trained professionals and this video is for educational purposes only. Well, that's it for me. Have a good one, guys. <clears throat> try again. You guys like the video yet? You think, do you, you, Garrett, do you think he, they like the video yet? Mm, maybe. Oh my, oh, oh, the first one was bad. I'd have let alone the second 
one. I don't know what to say. A foolish. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. A solid ooh. The guy said action, so here we go. Um, we're moving on to my quad, okay? But it's very important, before you get whipped in the quads, a Houston Jones recommendation is bust out a couple squats, huh? You know? Get the blood going into your quads so your quads know what's going on. Not the cap's gone! Ah! Oh! Find the cap! Okay, okay, all right. I mean... When I say okay, that means one okay. more hit, Weston. Okay. That meant no. Does not that one, mean no, one more no, hit? No, no. <laughs> that second okay meant no more hits. So far, so good. <laughs> when does it go bad? You know what I mean? Uh, anyways, we're going to my forearm. All right, and there's a quick uh, Houston Jones approved tip here is that you just get the blood going to your forearm. You do this number here. Like, ooh, my forearm is getting pumped up. Mm. Tasty. Oh, 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 I mean, what did I say? Ow. Uh, I should explain. It meant Cow not ow. No, it's, it's, ow is like, you know, reverse ecology, not ow. Figured out the problem. Hit the wrong part of my forearm. <laughs> the top, you know, my weakest side. Um, all the meat and potatoes is right here. So we're going to. Do the meat and potato side. <laughs> okay. Yep. That was right in the, the taters. What about the meat? <laughs> uh, no, the meat was uh, put to the side of the plate and he missed the meat completely. Okay, that was the holy. That was the whole thing? The whole meat? Oh, yep. He hit the, it was a, it was a pot roast. It was a, you know, pork belly pig on a spit fire. Yeah, that was good. Now to end this super scientific experiment off, we got one last test. What happens when you get hit with a shirt on and what happens when you get a shirt off? What's worse? Is there a difference? I don't know because I've only been hit on the skin so far, so I'm, we're literally learning this together. <laughs> All right, now I'm clearly ready to go. We're gonna start with the shirt side first. I'm gonna hit that side of my body. Let's see what happens. Oh God! Oh! Ow. Yeah, you definitely hit me. I felt it in my back. So, that's how I know. Oh my, what, was that the same power that felt hard? That, woo! Sweet jambalaya, man. I think his power level was over 9,000. No, that's... <laughs> Time to do the unclosed side, which I expect. I honestly I don't know what to expect. So let's do the unclosed side. We're gonna try to do two in a row. Here we go. Well, if I was to expect something, that'd be about it. Wow! <laughs> something just happened. Let's check out the damage. Go into my calf first where I got hit. As you can see, you can see something. Um, you know, some marks, I suppose, is what you would call them. Don't really get marks that often, but you know, there they are. And then BAM! My quad, my glorious quad. You can see the cap. Like, look at, that's the cap. Or end of the whip. Whew. And then my arm! Hit me on the top, and then those marks there, you know, it's like, Maybe road rash, I don't know. And then my back. We got closed side here, then non-closed, wherever this is. I can't see it because it's my back. So is it really there? I don't know. I'm assuming nothing is there because I can't see it. And that's words to live by. If you can't see it, it doesn't exist. But regardless of all that, we're gonna check back in two days and see how these marks look. All right, it's been two days later and I'm sure you're probably all thinking, man, Houston, this Stinger tactical whip Probably, probably did no damage to you. You're probably perfectly fine two days later. And honestly, you'd be dead wrong because look at my cat. Look at it. Look how bruised it is. The bruising goes all the way around. There's red marks where I got hit. That's terrible looking. And now, onto my quad. 
Even more bruising and more red marks. You can see the, the tip of the whip right there. Terrible looking. And then I got hit in the forearm. You know, the bruising isn't as bad, but there's this weird feeling in my hand when I open and close it. So I don't know what that's about. It's kind of a medical mystery to me at this point. And then, last but not least, I got hit in the back. Ugh. On this side, we got hit with the, I got hit with the shirt on, and I don't think there's really any marks to show up for that. Uh, however, on the shirtless side, there's definitely a mark there, right, Garrett? Mm -hmm. And if I'm being honest, I think the reason my back turned out okay is because Weston, you know, he's a weak boy and he got fatigued and he couldn't, couldn't put his, you know, his heart into the swings. So that's why my back turned out all right. So when it's all said and done, I can safely give the Stinger Tactical Whip the Houston Jones seal of approval because if it can do this much damage to me, just imagine what can it do to things that aren't me. Probably more than what it did to me. So here's what you need to do. You need to go to the link in the description, click it, and then buy yourself one of these Stinger Tactical Whips because you know what? These things are a lot of fun to use. They can smash pretty much anything. Also, every one of these things that you buy directly helps support the channel. And let me tell you, we need some support. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Like, comment, subscribe, do it. Why are you waiting? Have you done it yet? Ow. <laughs>